you can screen my screen. You can see my screen, no? Uh, yes, sir. We can see. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, so we have represent Fourier series. Uh, we 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 have done some uh, representation of Fourier series uh, for a periodic sequence. Okay. So today we will move to a new topics. Okay. That is Fourier transform. Okay. So that is for discrete time signal. Okay, Fourier transform for discrete time signal. Okay. So this is it. Okay. So I think maybe you can remember that. Okay, uh, so maybe you can represent, you can remember that for continuous time signal, okay, we normally represent as x t, okay, for continuous time signal, we can, okay, so this is a periodic signal, okay, and, uh, sorry, this is a non-periodic signal, non-periodic signal, okay, periodic signal, okay, or you can, you can consider it a piece of signal, okay, piece of a signal. Okay, piece of a signal. Uh, so you can convert this signal into frequency domain, normally referred in omega. Okay, so this omega is referred to angular frequency. Angular frequency. You know the relationship between angular frequency and uh, normal frequency, that is, omega is equal to 2 pi n. Okay. So normally uh, we use this omega angular frequency when we are doing the transformation. Okay. So using the Fourier transform, we can convert this time domain signal into this angular frequency. We called it frequency domain. So we represent the signal as x omega. Okay. And <clears throat> uh, if we perform inverse Fourier transform, if we perform inverse Fourier transform, you can convert this omega. That means the frequency domain signal back into time domain signal. Okay. So this is Fourier transform. This is time domain to frequency domain, inverse Fourier transform. Okay. That is frequency domain to time domain. Okay. So already we learned this. We have learned this in signal and system. Okay. Uh, Fourier transform. Okay, so for uh, maybe uh, you can remember the equation. There is identity to convert this xt into a uh, frequency domain signal. Okay, so the representation is x omega. You can find the frequency domain signal of any time domain signal. Okay, so the procedure is you have to multiply your time domain signal. This is your time domain signal time domain signal. So you have to multiply it by e to the power minus j omega t. Okay. And you have to do the integration from minus infinity to plus infinity with respect to d t. Okay. So this is the identity for the Fourier transform. Okay. This is the identity for the Fourier transform. Okay. That is for continuous time signal. This is for continuous time signal. Right. Make a continuous time signal of it. Okay. So you know that. So the, for the continuous time signal, always if there is addition, we have to do the integration. This integration. Okay. We have to do the integration. Okay. But for a discrete time signal, for an addition, we no need to use this integration. Okay. So we can simply add. Simply add them together so you can use the sum notation instead of this integration. This is for discrete time signal and this is for continuous time signal. We have already learned this concept also. All right. Discrete time signal like a continuous time make signal like a integrate simply. Add current infinite number of values there. 
amplitude levels p and q. Okay. So we can't do that. So we can, if for a discrete time signal, we can simply do this addition. Okay. So, so if we are given a discrete time sequence, normally we refer to xn. Okay. Xn. Okay. This is, you know that this is related with time. Okay. But this is called the sample number. This is a sample number. And you that you know that this n is a integer value that can be from minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay, this n it is it, <clears throat> it is just an integer plus or minus integer, including zero. Okay, so it can be zero, one, two, three, so on, and minus one, minus two, minus three, so on. Okay, so this n is the sample number. Okay, make a thing again, you know, make a sample number again again, you know, any. Uh, discrete time signal xn represent n sample number xn so we can convert this signal into frequency domain using the Fourier transform okay so we can represent this signal as x omega okay so uh, for a time for a continuous time also we are using this omega notation no? okay so for discrete time sometimes we use capital omega capital omega is this one oh. okay this is capital omega okay so if you if you put instead of this capital omega this symbol that is okay okay there is no any uh, uh, <clears throat> any uh, don't get in confusion it is just a symbol okay we, we make up in come represent karan with i make a done but right? it's a discrete time on a capital omega power chicken or continuous time make it simple omega power chicken okay don't worry right? so in the same manner if you get the inverse Fourier transform inverse Fourier transform you can convert this frequency domain signal this is frequency domain signal and this is the time domain signal if you get fourier transform you can convert this time domain into frequency domain using fourier transform if you want to convert fourier uh, sorry frequency domain signal into time domain you can use to you can use inverse fourier transform okay so this is for discrete time signal okay so the identity is okay the same way if you can write x omega okay that is equal to instead of this integration you can use simply sum minus infinity to plus infinity your signal xn should be multiplied by e to the power minus j omega n okay so you can use omega instead of capital omega okay so this is the identity for fourier transform okay this is the identity for fourier transform okay and if you want to find the inverse, if you want to find the, if you want to convert this uh, frequency domain signal into time domain, okay, okay, here, inside, hello, okay, so. Uh, if you want to convert this frequency domain signal into time domain, you can use the inverse Fourier transform. Okay, the inverse Fourier transform is referred. To, you you can write it like this. Okay, x n. Okay, so you can get the time domain signal. This is the time domain signal. You have to multiply by this uh, frequency domain signal, and you have to multiply it. You you. You have to multiply this frequency domain signal from e to the power minus j omega n. Okay. And you have to get the uh, summation. Okay, so this is n from minus infinity to plus infinity here omega from minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay, and it should be divided by 2 pi. Okay, this is the inverse Fourier transform. Okay, identity. Okay. So, for these transformations, we use these two identities. 
these are very important okay so <clears throat> So in your reference book that two identities are given, okay. Yeah, no, sorry. This is okay. So this is this one is Fourier transform. Okay. So x omega. You have to get the Fourier transform of this uh, time domain signal. Okay. So this is the symbol. Okay. We are getting the Fourier transform of this xn. Okay. We are getting the Fourier transform of this xn, and it is equal to xn e to the power minus j omega n from minus infinity to plus infinity okay so here n okay minus infinity plus infinity xn e to the power minus j omega n okay so this is the Fourier transform I have. okay and okay i'm sorry okay here i have put uh, sigma but it is not the correct okay i will tell you why okay i will explain it why later are you sorry Make mama sigma kill my QM inverse Fourier transform make you not an inne, but for the mistake, okay? It is it is my mistake, okay? So it should be integration, okay? It should there should be integration, not a, uh, not a addition. Uh, someone can someone tell uh, why why it happened like that? Carter can pull on the KM when you go home again. Can you give an idea? So if 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 you are doing the integration here, is it a discrete time or continuous time? Method integration is a discrete time the continuous time. Please give an answer. If the integration is here, okay. If the integration is here, is it discrete time or continuous time? Integration like a penona, acre, continuous time. The economic integration like a thing. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to XNK and acre, XNK and acre. Frequency domain like a how X omega to how. What is it? Then may NK and echo omega will. It would return an addition. Nikam sum make. There is a simple summation. Okay, not the integration. This n we are going to convert to the omega that is frequency domain. Okay. So we get our signal, time domain signal, and multiply it by this term and we just add them together. The points are added. Okay. So here we have samples. Okay. So you have to add, add each sample together. Right? So now, if you want to convert this x omega, okay, into again back into time domain, into xn, so you have to get the inverse Fourier transform of this x omega, okay. So this is the notation, f minus that is that referred to inverse Fourier transform, okay. Taking care of inverse Fourier transform, x omega to gamma. So you have to con you have to multiply it by this x omega using this term e to the power j omega n. Uh, here I put minus. No, okay. So here it is plus. Okay, not minus. Okay, minus na plus se karte hain. Ek aap matlab is take kela. Alright. Mangi ko matlab jindi hai. Alright. E to the power minus j omega n d omega. Okay. So why? What's happened? Why we are we are we are getting integration? 
It is because once we transform our discrete time signal into frequency domain, this frequency domain signal is not discrete number. Okay, it is a continuous time signal. But if we may extend a discrete time signal, have a omega or the have a word here. Power door at discrete signal like a neve, a continuous time signal. Okay, uh, did you get it? So, this Xn is a discrete time signal. If we convert this time domain Xn signal into a frequency domain signal, okay, so we can't say that this omega is a discrete value. Okay, this omega is a Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I'm not disconnected. I'm not connected. I'm not connected. I'm not connected. I'm not connected. Did you understand this one? This concept. Okay. So, this XN is a discrete time signal. Once we convert it into frequency domain, if you frequency domain, you can convert this. Frequency domain signal is not no longer discrete time signal. It is a continuous time signal. So if you want to convert this continuous time signal back into discrete time signal, this continuous time signal into back into discrete time domain, discrete time signal, you have to actually here uh, the omega is not the time okay so if if i use discrete time or continuous time that is maybe you have a confusion okay because now this omega is frequency okay so it should be uh, if if i if i tell it continuous frequency signal continuous frequency not continuous time continuous frequency what but normally we are not refer this word, okay? This kind of signal also we are we are referring as continuous time signal, okay? Then not. Me thano omega kya na bhanga bhi continuous time kya na time mega continuous. Are continuous time means continuous time means this time means continuous, okay? Actually here it is not time. The independent variable is frequency, okay? So it should be. Uh, it should be referred as continuous frequency signal. Okay, but normally we are not using this continuous frequency domain. Okay. Continuous frequency. Okay. We are not referring continuous frequency. Normally we are referring to continuous time. Confuse karakan nepari method omega again frequency. It will take a continuous time. Omega is a frequency. Frequency is a continuous wave. Sorry, discrete wave is a continuous wave. You know what I am saying? It is a continuous time. So anyway, this x omega is not a discrete. This omega is not a discrete value. It is a continuous value. Okay. This omega is a continuous value. You, so you have to do the integration. Okay. Did you get it? Okay, so I will explain it again. Okay, uh, uh, shortly. Okay, so this this one is wrong actually. Okay, so if you have a continuous time signal, continuous time signal. Sorry, if you have, if you have a discrete time signal, you can convert this signal into frequency domain using Fourier transform, okay? So you have to get the Fourier transform of this Xn, okay? And you can convert this into frequency domain signal, X omega, okay? So you can do this using this identity. So this N is a continuous time signal. So you have to multiply it by e to the power minus j omega 
sorry, j omega n, and you have to get the simple summation that is n from minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay. So in this way you can you can convert your discrete time signal into your time domain signal into frequency domain signal. Okay. Once you cannot, so you this n is a discrete value. This n is a discrete value. Okay. May n mega discrete value. Okay. But we can't guarantee that this omega also discrete. Okay. We can't guarantee. Actually, this omega is a continuous value. This is a continuous value. Like a continuous value. Okay. So if you want to, if you want to convert this x omega into time domain again, you have to get the inverse Fourier transform. Okay. So that is equal to that is equal to xt. You will have xt xn again. Okay, so that is equal because this omega is a continuous signal, you have to do the integration, not the summation like this. Okay, so you have to do this integration to phi u minus infinity plus infinity x omega e to the power j omega n. Okay, d on. Okay, so this is the inverse Fourier transform I did. Okay. So I think you understand it, okay? Did you get it, okay? So these are the ideas, okay? So maybe we can write these two terms, okay? Because we are going to use them, okay? Because we want to use them, this one and this one, okay? Mostly we are doing the transformation, not the inverse transformation. So mostly we are using this identity. Okay. In our module, we are mainly using this identity. This is the Fourier transform conversion. Okay. So what you need to understand is this omega is not a discrete value, it is a continuous value. That is why the integration is there. Okay. Okay. So that is the Fourier transform. Okay, so if you get the Fourier transform, that is x omega. Okay, if you get the Fourier transform, if you find the x omega of any signal, okay, of any signal, So, okay. So, this is the identity. So, so these are the two identities. Okay. These are the two identities. Okay, so you have to use these two identities. Okay, so once you convert time domain signal into discrete, oh, sorry, time domain signal into frequency domain. Okay, so you want you will find this x omega. Okay, you will find this x omega, and if you if you plot this signal x omega, if you plot this x omega with respect to omega, you will get some uh, continuous time signal like this, continuous signal like this, it is not a discrete signal, okay? This is not a discrete signal, it will be a continuous signal, okay? Like this, okay? Because this omega value is uh, continuous, value, okay? So you will get this kind of uh, plot, okay? We can't, we can't, uh, uh, this is just arbitrary shape, okay? Ah, yeah, sure. I will upload. No issues. Uh, anyway, I have uploaded all the lectures, okay?
and up to now I have uploaded all the lectures. Okay, so you can refer them. Okay. Okay. So this x omega. So if you plot this with respect to omega, this is we called spectrum. Okay, this is we called spectrum. Okay, so this is the frequency domain signal. Okay, frequency domain signal. Frequency domain signal we normally refer to as spectrum. So I think Mahamega Kalinut Kelvin. Frequency domain signal normally referred to as spectrum. Time domain signal like a the yana is a Time domain signal. What is we normally called it? We called it waveform. Time domain signal like a waveform. Frequency domain like a spectrum. Frequency domain signal is a spectrum. Okay. So this x omega is a spectrum. Okay. This is a spectrum. Okay. So this is spectrum may be. Uh, uh, generally, it may be a complex number. Okay, so a spectrum, if it is a complex number, you can refer it like this. Okay, you can refer it like this. Okay, so this is a complex number notation. Okay, so you know the complex number. Okay, so if this is x and if, if the imaginary part is y, this is the complex number. Okay, okay, this is the complex number, and uh, you you know that. If this is phi, if this, uh, if this, uh, if this angle is phi, okay. If this angle is phi, okay. You know that you can you can write this complex number as if if this uh, this uh, this length is r. Let's say that this length is r, okay. So you can write this. Complex number as R cos five. Maybe I'm not. Okay. R cos five plus J sine five. You can write like this. Okay. So using the Euler formula. Okay. Using the Euler formula, you can write this as R e to the power j5 okay so this is a normal uh, this this is uh, this is we call the polar form of a complex number this is the uh, yeah this is a polar form of a complex number okay we have already learned this one okay so i'm not going to explain it anymore okay so this is the magnitude and this phi is the phase okay so you can represent any complex number like this okay so here also it is Represent like this, okay? So this x omega is the uh, is the magnitude, okay, of the complex number that is uh, that is uh, identical to r, okay? And this phi is the phase of the complex number, okay? So if you plot this magnitude with respect to Omega, it is called magnitude plot, magnitude spectrum. And if you plot this phase with respect to omega, we called it phase spectrum. Okay. So just have the idea. Okay. Uh, so if you have this idea, that is enough. Okay. So normally, frequency domain signal we normally refer to as spectrum. And if you plot the magnitude of the spectrum, it is called magnitude spectrum. And if you plot the phase of the spectrum with respect to omega, it is called phase spectrum. Okay, so that is it. Okay, okay. Now we will do one uh, example. We will try to do one example. We will get example from this books. I think it is easy when you are doing the uh, study. Okay, so I think all of you have this book. Okay. So we will uh, go to the solved problem, okay? 
under the solve problem. So this uh, discrete Fourier series, okay? We have done some question here, okay? So please try to do them by yourself also, okay? So you will get some question for the exam, okay? So I will have one tutorial session and I will uh, do one or two question that's the, in the exam level question, okay? We will try to do, okay? Uh, so anyway, now we are in this one, Fourier transform, okay? So there are many examples, okay? So we will, uh, let's uh, first find the simple example, a basic one. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Yeah, maybe this one. Try to do this. Okay. Okay, we will try to do this one. Okay. So we are given a sequence XN. Okay. So XN is given like this. Okay. So Xn is given like this. Okay. Okay. Now we need to draw this Xn. Okay. We need to draw this Xn. Okay. So tell me. Okay. So that means you have to draw N with respect to. We, you, you have to write. You, you, you have to draw Xn with respect to N. Okay. So now you are going to draw this discrete time signal. Discrete time signal. How we can draw it? How we can draw it? Right. right. Tell me. Uh, so I think uh, I have explained this kind of uh, this kind of signal previously. Okay. So tell me now. N is available from which value to which value? See this. See this expression and tell me n is what are the n values we have here. Okay. So here certain n values are there. Okay. So tell me what are those n values? Men n values tika mana the kilometer n values tika. The magnitude of n should be less than or equal to 2. Okay. That means what are the n values we have? So limited n values are there. I think five values are there. Only five values are here. What are these five values for n? Okay. Please take five minutes and tell me. Try to tell me. Try to find this answer. Find the answer for this. What are the n values available? With this expression, what are the n values? Okay. So n is an integer. Okay. n can integer. Okay. Okay. Decimal value. n can integer. Okay. Then an integer magnitude decker, a bit again, they cut a water, they cut water, do it here. But the Kalpana So try to understand what is this magnitude tells you. There's a magnitude, okay? Tell me. Thank you. 
Uh, yeah, I got one answer. Okay, uh, okay. Think. What is this? Uh, so this answer is uh, correct up to some level. Okay, actually some values are correct. Very good. Okay, but uh, there should be another two values. Actually, there should be another two values. Okay, so if you can uh, so if you can imagine this level i think that is also very good okay uh, yeah so here what is this magnitude means so here absolute value absolute value okay in absolute value that means plus or minus n if you get the plus or minus n absolute you will get n okay yeah, very good. Yeah, that is the answer. So there are five values. Huh? Okay, what about others? I I got the correct answer from one student. Yeah, yeah, that is also correct. Yeah. Yeah, got two answer. So our signal is like this, okay? We are given x n, okay? So one, when the absolute value of n greater than or equal to two and zero elsewhere, okay? We need to draw this uh, signal, okay? So there are, uh, for some n values, the value will be one and for others, the value will be zero, okay? For some certain n values, for some certain n values, value will be one, and for other values, the xn will be zero. Right? For certain n, the xn is one, and for other values, xn is zero, okay? So now, we need to find this n value. n value that will give xn equal to one. Okay, the main value take away than no x in a n value take away than no. Okay, we need to find the n value for x n equal to one. Okay, so how to find this n value? So it is very simple. Okay, so here it is given absolute n. What is meant by absolute? Okay, so let tell me 
if I get minus 5 absolute, what is the value? If I get the minus 5 absolute, what is the value? If I get minus 5 absolute, what is the value? So this is also called as magnitude, okay? Absolute value or magnitude, yes. So it will be plus, it will be 5, okay? If I get the plus absolute value, that also will be 5, okay? So if I get plus or minus 5 absolute value, that will be 5, okay? Absolute value means you are not considering the sign, okay? So it can be minus, so it can be plus, okay? Now, absolute n is greater than, absolute n is less than 2, okay? So that means n definitely should be greater than or equal to 2, okay? So n can be 2, 1, 0, definitely, okay? Because this n are integer, n should be less than 2. So n can get 0, 1, 2. Okay. And if you put magnitude here, what happened? Okay. The magnitude, the absolute of n. So if you get minus n, that means minus 1 and minus 2. If you get absolute value, these are also will 2 and 1. 0, 2, 1. Okay. So absolute means if it is n less than 2, may n less than or greater than 2, n can get 0, 1, 2. Okay, so n can be 0, 1, 2. Okay, if the n is less than 2 and n is an integer value. Okay, n is an integer value because it is a sample number. So, if, we, if you get the magnitude, that means n can also have minus values, okay? But that should be less than 2. The absolute value should be less than 2, okay? So you can get minus 2 and minus 1 also, okay? So n is from minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, okay? So these five values are for n. For these five values, xn is equal to 1. Okay. So if you write this notation, minus 2 less than or equal to n and less than or equal to 2, the same. Okay. This is this term you can write like this also. In a maybe there are make a yana bulwanga. Absolute ten Vishala Yo Samana de Kaikin, after maybe they can be an Abina de Katawa in Vishala in Mona, Dana de Katawa in Puda in Mokia. He can have another decayna Dana de Katana value with a yen or the yen. Eva integer value in that should be integer values. Okay. So in okay, so if I going to draw this signal, this speed time signal, okay, now you have n. And you have xn. Okay. You have n and you have xn. Okay. So so n should be minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. For these n values, xn is equal to 1. Okay. For this n value, xn is equal to 1. May n value volta x n k and ega one the sum on it. For others, other n value, the value will be zero. Elsewhere means for others. Okay. So that means from 2 to plus infinity and from minus 2 to minus infinity, the values are zero. Okay. So your signal is like this. This is your signal. Okay. So you can see that this is a discrete time signal. Now you need to find the Fourier transform of this signal, okay? So what is the identity for the Fourier transform? So you know the identity, that is 
if you want to find the Fourier transform, sorry, if you want to find the Fourier transform of Xn, Xn is the sequence, okay? That is equal to X omega. And it is equal to sigma n from minus infinity to plus infinity x n e to the power minus j omega n. Okay, so very easily you can find this. How to find this? Okay, so x omega is equal to when n is minus infinity x n will be zero. Okay, and minus infinity minus infinity up to up to minus 2, the xn will be 0. At minus 2, it will be 1. Okay, So you have to add the signal from n minus 2 to plus 2. That's enough because others are 0. Minus infinity up to minus 2, it is 0. And from plus 2 to plus infinity, it is also 0. So your signal is available only here. Okay. So if you write this here, that will be enough. E to the power minus j omega n. Okay. So how you find this? Very easy. Okay. So when the n is equal to 2, that means x minus 2 into e to the power minus j omega n is equal to minus 2. And the sum. Okay. That means you have to add. Okay, then the next value is x minus 1 e to the power minus j omega n is equal to minus 1. Next value is 0, n is 0, x 0 e to the power minus j omega 0. Plus, next value is 2, 1, sorry, x 1 is equal to x 1 into e to the power minus j omega plus 1 plus x2 e to the power minus j omega plus 2. When the meta is equal to negative n, n rina deke in and dana deke. Now my value are the sugar again here in turn. N rina deke in about x rina deke. Meta rina deke. X rina eka. Rina eka. X bindu. Bindu. X eka. Dana eka. X deke. Dana eka. Dana deke. Okay. So this is it. Okay. So this is it. Okay. So you know this value. X minus 2 is equal to 1. X minus 1 is also equal to 1. X 0 equal to 1. X 1 equal to 1. X 2 equal to 1. Okay. So this will be 1. Okay. So X omega. Your X omega will be 1 e to the power minus j so here minus minus it will be plus okay so plus 2j omega plus this also one e to the power minus minus plus e to the power j omega n sorry not that i will mean, write it again okay x omega is equal to x minus 2 is 1, okay, and minus minus plus, okay, so you have e to the power plus j, so minus minus plus and 2 is here, okay, so you have plus 2j omega plus here x minus 1 also 1, so here minus 1 minus 1, it will be plus and it, it will be e to the power j omega plus this one x0 is 1 and e to the power j omega 0 here. So e to the power 0 will be 1. Okay, So this term will become 1 plus e to the power e to the power minus j plus 1. So that will be minus, no? Minus j omega plus e to the power minus plus minus, you will have 2j omega. Okay. So this is your answer. Okay. So if you write up to this one, 
you can get the marks. Okay. So this is the answer actually. Okay. And uh, so you can see that now we have only omega terms. Okay. So tell me this omega. So this is a complex exponential term. Okay. These are complex exponential signal. Okay. So if this is in time, that is like e to the power j omega t. No. Okay. E to the power j omega t. Tell me this is a discrete time signal. This is a discrete, uh, sorry, continuous time signal. You already learned that. This is a complex exponential signal. Continuous time complex exponential signal. Okay. So this same omega is also a discrete uh, continuous value. Okay. So this is a continuous signal. Okay. Not a discrete signal. Okay. So this is a continuous signal. This will be a continuous signal. Okay, continuous signal. Okay. So it is a complex exponential signal. Okay, it is just like e to the power j omega t. Okay, instead of t, you have just, uh, sorry, instead of t, yeah, this omega is actually frequency. Okay, this is called the fundamental. Uh, period okay fundamental frequency okay but uh, this is a constant here okay this is a constant okay so instead of you i can write this j k t like this okay this k is the uh, fundamental frequency there. so that is a constant okay so t okay so you know that this is a complex exponential signal okay so this is also a complex exponential signal and this omega also continuous time continuous variable okay not a discrete variable. Okay. So this is a continuous time signal. Okay. Okay. So you can maybe you can further simplify this equation using the Euler formula. Using the Euler formula. Okay. Using the Euler formula. But uh, uh, for our level, we no need to use the Euler formula and uh, try to solve this anymore. Okay. So I think if you can solve this up to this level, that will be okay. Okay. So <clears throat> uh, actually, if you refer the uh, if you refer the this one, okay. So you can see that uh, that signal is. Uh, you can see that it is uh, simplified here okay it is simplified here and get uh, uh, get the compact compact value okay but uh, actually this is uh, uh, you can use similar formula and, and solve that equation and try to get this one okay but uh, for our level it is not uh, necessary okay if you find that uh, this terms that will be okay okay so that is one example okay so let's do another example so we will try to do a somewhat uh, Okay, so wait a minute.
Okay, so Okay, shall we try to do this one? Okay, uh, we will try to do this one, but uh, to get this answer, you have to use. Uh, have you learned about trailer series? That kind of series have you learned? Trailer series or something have you learned? Okay, I mean, trailer series. Okay, I mean, I'm not sure. 